morning. I'm sorry about the lighting, but it is 5.55 in the morning. And I am on my way to the church to begin our 21 days of prayer and fasting. I'm super excited about it. Obviously, the fact that I am out of bed and going, I mean, I am wearing my pajamas, but that's fine. You can wear your PJs to church. It's completely fine, completely fine. Hey, what's up, family? I'm Rachel. And I'm Joe. And we are Two, Two Crazy, Crazy Ketos. If you're new to our channel, welcome. Here on Two Crazy Ketos, we do different things like recipe videos and we do product reviews and we talk about various keto topics. And every Monday, we sit down on the couch for Keto on the Couch. We just kind of talk about what's going on in our lives for the week. You can find us in different social media platforms like Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And we have a website, which is twocrazyketos.com. And that's where you're going to find all of our different recipes. Now we do upload at least five new videos every single week. So make sure you subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to hit the little bell icon. That way, every single time we upload a new video, you'll be alerted to it. So it is January 4th. It is day one of the Keto Chow seven day reset. Yes. And it's day one of our church's 21, 21 days. days of prayer and fasting. So yes. we're here at the church right now. We got up super early, like 5 a.m., took a shower. Yep. Got over here. And uh, Rachel came in her pajamas. I did. <laughs> because you know what? Come as you are. That's right. Plus, they're super soft, comfy ones that I got at Walmart the day after Christmas for just five bucks. This is the year of loungewear. That's I think right. we're just going to continue the loungewear thing. So what are you doing now? I'm going to get some writing done for okay. our curriculum here at church. Okay. And then I got some packages to take to the post office and then I got to exercise. Yeah, I'm gonna go home. I'm gonna wake Anthony up. We're gonna go get some cutting done mm -hmm. and then we're gonna come home and uh, yeah, I have a little bit of work to do with videos and things like that. We're gonna do some exercise. We're gonna get started. We're gonna start off this year right with the mm -hmm. reset. Um, now, like we said, we're not doing the complete keto chow reset because we're not eating food. I'm just eating keto chow. Right. I have added in, in addition to just eating keto chow, I'm doing one scoop of the perfect keto collagen every day just because I need a little bit more protein than I'm going to get out of the three keto chows. Right. Uh, but that is what I'm doing. So it is meaty Monday. Yeah. So for meaty Monday, I'm going to be doing only chicken soup. Are you gonna use bacon as a fat source for one of them? The I may, I may try the bacon grease as one of them. I think that'd be cool. So I'm, but I'm gonna do the chicken soup and the beef base is what I'm gonna do in honor of Heath for Meaty Monday. We love you, Heath. Yeah, so on that, we're gonna vlog this entire day. So you're gonna see some nonsense, not too much full day of eating other than like, hey, here's the keto chow I'm having, but Make sure you subscribe to the channel because we've got a bunch of this nonsense coming for the next seven days. Well, little change of plans. I was working at the office and then I got a phone call to pick up some um, boxes for shipping. So we're gonna switch gears a little. I'm still in my pajamas, but it is 10.50. I am going to grab these boxes and some tape and then I'm gonna head home and lock myself in my she shed and hopefully get some writing done there. So Anthony and I got home from work and uh, now I'm having one of those days where I just wanna do nothing. Like you ever have one of those days where I just feel like Bleh, you know, I wanna like kinda go sit in my chair, maybe play a video game, watch a movie, just relax and do nothing, but I can't because I have so much to do. Rachel actually is on her way home. She had to stop at the box supply store to get boxes. Uh, for her brother for doing all the shipping. And I am trying to rearrange our studio, go back to normal. You can see the green screen behind me. So we have like, that's where all our paper backgrounds are. And then we have, there's our Christmas stuff. So I moved the table, but it's a lot to like move. You can see like cameras and monitors and everything else. Uh, but that right there, that tree, I am not taking that stuff down because if I take it down, everything's gonna be broken. I'm one of those people that like Christmas is over, throw it in a box, pack it up, who cares what happens to it. But those ornaments that are on that tree, they mean a lot to us. 
So I'm going to let Rachel do that because Rachel wrapped them last year and she literally individually wrapped each one in bubble wrap. And when we opened up all the Christmas ornaments this year, there wasn't one broken ornament. If I would have done it last year, half of them would have been broken. So I'm going to let her do that. I'm going to finish moving everything around because first of all, we need our new background. You know, Christmas is over. And we want to start our new year, but also because we have our new series for kids ministry starting and we film all of the online stuff here in front of our green screen and the new series starts this weekend. So I need to get everything moved around for that. When I'm done with this, Anthony and I have to go to motor vehicles because his car and Caleb's car need to get re-registered and I couldn't do it online because the insurance is in their name and not in my name. So we have to kind of go and like prove insurance and all that stuff. So that'll be a lot of fun. Okay, so I am pretty impressed with my Volkswagen right now and how much you can stuff in here because I've got 300 boxes, over 2,000 feet of craft paper for packaging, and I have over 100 rolls of packing tape. So yeah, I am fully stocked and headed home. You know what? It's not windy out right now, so I'm gonna take a break and I'm gonna go fly my drone. still wearing pajamas it's noon and you're playing outside i know but look i actually started working but i decided to take a break i actually have to go get registration for anthony's car now but i started oh. moving our room around yes but so i told them those ornaments on that tree that's your responsibility because if Mine? i did it yeah, cool. Well, if I do it, I'm just throwing everything in a box yeah. and then they're all going to be broken. Yeah, it's better if I handle this job. 
So it's noon uh-huh. and I'm home, but I have, I've only had one cup of coffee at the office. You know, that's normal for most people. <sighs> and I'm jonesing and it was a small cup. It was like, it was not a big cup. So in other words, you want me to make coffee. Please and thank you. Are you gonna go stand on the DMV line to register our children's cars? No. Come you want on. me to make you some coffee? If you're gonna go stand on the line, absolutely. No, no, no. You, I'll make coffee for you and you go stand on the line. I don't want coffee though. Oh. So Anthony bought us a present. You were passed out when he came home. <laughs> okay. By the way, sorry about the lighting, but Anthony's got Macro all kinds of weird lights. and sardines in Louisiana hot sauce. He's participating in no, I'm not the Fear Factor. No, I'm not. You mean he's participating as far as he's he's giving us stuff to eat? Yeah, I think he should eat it. No. Oh man. <laughs> okay, registration is done. Thank goodness. Fortunately, we made an appointment, so we were like in and out in ten minutes. Really? Yeah. What That's got to be unprecedented for the DMV. Well, the line was around the corner. So, like, if you didn't have an appointment, it was a two-hour wait. an appointment. But we made an appointment. And it was funny because I went online and it said, do you want to make an appointment? And there were three people you made an appointment with. One had something for tomorrow. One had, like, in four weeks. And one had for today. But four when weeks. you get in there, you see anybody. So, it's literally just some random, like... Choose a person, so. I'd like to just put on top of like my cubicle, like not available for four weeks. <laughs> Two o'clock, so it's time for my first meal. And this is the savory chicken soup keto chow. I made it with uh, three tablespoons of butter, one teaspoon of the Redmond Rail Salt, as well as one teaspoon of the garlic black pepper blend from Redmond. And what I do is I pre-make it in the blender bottle and then I pour it into a four cup Pyrex bowl heat it up, and then I put it back in here to drink. Thank you. You realize it's three o'clock and you haven't done your daily exercises yet. I was hoping that maybe you wouldn't notice. You changed your shirt. I did, well, just for a little bit. I'm going back into my pajamas, don't you worry. But yeah, we need to tape some kids ministry. Yep. And I can't wear my pajamas to that. Well, we're trying to get four weeks done because we just found out this morning that we are going away in the RV again this weekend, which is very abnormal for us. But we, it was because my brother wants right. to go someplace and he never wants to go someplace. Right. So I'm all about spending time with the family and it's like, we're going to take our own advice. When you have an opportunity to do something, do it. That means that we have to get all of the work done for this week, for this weekend, so that we can leave Thursday. And then we're going to the Tampa RV show next Tuesday night. So yeah. like we have a lot of work to do and I want to eat. Well, I'm just really actually thankful that we're keto and I don't have to eat because like I'm filling in so much of the time I would be planning a meal, cooking a meal and eating a meal, just doing work. You still have to exercise. Ooh, not that one. <laughs> <laughs> so Who look wants what, wrinkles? Look what I found. So I'm gonna meal prep these so that I can have them tomorrow. I can't have them today for Meaty Monday, but I've got four left. Am I saving any for you or do I get all four? I feel like you should save one for me at least. Why are you hiding behind the package? Because I can see like a wrinkle here. I don't like that. I'm gonna hide it. Just, you know what? I, I'm just gonna wear a keto chow on my face because that covers up wrinkles. Some people have like a cosmetics plan, like do makeup of some sort, not me. I wear a keto chow on my face. Are you ready for this? Well, I've got my headband on and that means that I mean business. Well, I mop the floor because the only place we really have to do this is in the kitchen. So yeah. I mop the floor for you. All right, thank you. So you're still wearing your pajamas. Well, I should be able to work out of my pajamas. Okay. <laughs> okay, I have one problem. You are wearing slippers. Can you not work out in slippers? Well, you have to do push-ups and you have to do burpees and you have to do squats. So what? you probably, <laughs> you don't know what any of this stuff is, do you? I don't. Like burpees, like, <laughs> I, I will show you what a burpee is. So you probably want to go put sneakers on. Okay. Okay. Are you ready for this? No. But let's do it anyway. I like your workout map. Okay, Thank you. So here's what you're going to do. It's an old area rug. First, you have to do a warm up. Okay. So your warm up is going to do 10 plank shoulder taps. What is that? 
Then you're going to do 10 mountain climbers, 10 side laying clams. Okay. Do you know what this stuff is? I don't know what any of this okay, is. Okay, so you're going to do 10 hollow rocks, hollow rocks, five fire hydrants, and then 10 superhumans. Do you know what all this is? Yes. Because CrossFit. Because CrossFit. I don't do CrossFit anymore, I but I know what whatever. it is. Okay, so your plank shoulder tap is this. You're gonna come up like this, right? Okay. And you're gonna go up like this, up like this. Okay, wow. so you're gonna do that 10 times. One, two, three, eight, nine, 10. I did it! Okay, but you're supposed to do 10 on each shoulder, so that would be 10 more. Okay, so now you have to do 10 mountain climbers. You know what mountain climbers are? I know what climbing a mountain looks like. Okay, we don't have a mountain. We're in Florida. So mountain climber is like this. Okay. And then up like this, up like this. Like this? There you go. Like this? Yep. How many? 10. One. On each leg. Two, three, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Okay. I did it. Good job. Now you're gonna do side lane clams. What's that? That it sounds, sounds kind of dirty. That sounds inappropriate. Okay, so let's turn you this way. Okay. As the dog is like in her cage making moaning noise. She wants to participate. Okay, so you're gonna lay down on your side. I can do that. Okay, you're, you kind of got it, just like that. Put your hand down like this. Okay. And then put your feet like this. And then you're gonna open up. Nope, no. Nope. Like my grandmother said, you should never do this. Clams. Like there you go. Oh, okay. How many? Ten. Okay. So one, two, three, four. Makes it harder. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Should I do the other side? Nope, that's good. Like that? No, nope, like arch more. One. There you go. Two. <laughs> we need to clean these cabinets. Three, four, five. I look like I'm having a fit. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. That was miserable. Okay. I did not like that one. Ten fire hydrants. So go back. Go back like you're going to do a mountain climber. I feel like that would be, is that like a dog thing? Like? Yes. Really? Yes. Is that what it's called a fire hydrant? Okay, this was made for Rachel. One, two, three, eight, nine, ten. Oh, I'm sorry, we're only supposed to do five. But I would assume it's five on each side. But it does only say five. It does, it does say five. Are you making me do extra? I okay, so I have bad news for you. Okay. That was the warm up. We're not done? No, you're not done. I thought we were going to be doing like victory lap around the house right now. No, you're not done. Now okay. you have now you have the hard part of the workout. Are All you right. ready? So yeah. this is the day one Metcon. Okay. You're going to do this for 15 minutes. And you're going to try to do it as much as you can. If you have to stop, you stop. But you try not to stop. The goal is to get as much as you can without stopping. Okay. You want to not stop until you, like, if you're going to do it, do the whole thing and then take a quick break, but try to get through each section without stopping. Okay. 10 push ups, 10 air squats, 10 glute bridges, 10 pull ups, which we don't have a pull up bar, so you're going to have to skip that. And then 10 burpees. Okay, so 10 push ups. Can I do the girly one? Do you know how to do the girly one? Is it like this? One. Yeah, but all the way down. You got to go all the way down. Okay. One. <laughs> 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 Three. That's not a push up. Four. I can get all the way down. I'm okay. gonna get myself back okay, up. So, Five. Okay, so let, you know how to do a push up, sort of. Okay, you ready? No. I think we should send this video clip to Robert and Crystal. It's so bad. No, don't embarrass <laughs> me. Okay, so 10 glute bridges. You know what a glute bridge is? Is that like. Our, our dog is like. Okay, so go sense. on your thing. Put your feet up, Okay. lay down on your back, and then you're going to arch your butt up. Oh, I can do that. There you go. Okay. So this is like a love you, John. Okay. 
So, Let's okay, so we don't physical, have to do it anymore. Physical. Let's move on to the next one because oh, okay. this is, I'm just making sure you know how to do it. So now you have to stand, you, you know how to do push up, air squats. Okay? So now people do squats wrong. And I have a hard time because of my ankle because I can't bend my ankle. But what you want to do is try to keep your back straight. So this is not a squat, right? Okay, Bending you want to do forward. It. You want to, and get as far, think about you're sitting on a chair. Okay. You want, you have a chair back here and you want to sit down on that chair. And, but you want to sit on it like the kids' chairs in the kids' room. Okay. So, like bending your knees, like again, now I can't really do a good squat because of my ankle. I usually would put a, a barbell underneath or a plate underneath my foot. Okay. But you're going to go down like this and put your arms up like this and you're going to go down, like Ooh. as far down as you can. One. Yeah. No, don't lean forward. Try to keep your back straight. No, try to keep your back straight. <laughs> Okay, you ready? Yes. Bend your knees. Okay. Don't. <laughs> okay, so you're gonna do 10 of those. Okay. You can do one of them. And then you're gonna do burpees. Okay, now, what is what that? Okay, no. Okay, so a burpee is a jumping jack into okay. a push-up. So like, Do a jumping, jumping jack, jack, down, push-up, jumping jack, down, Oh my goodness. Are you ready to do this? No. Okay, here we go. So now we're going to start a timer. Okay. Alexa, set a timer for 15 minutes. 15 minutes, starting now. Okay, 10 push ups. That's not a push up. One, two, this is terrible. Three, four, two. I can hear my knees. Breaking three. Try not to bend your four. <laughs> five. Okay, ten blue bridges. Rust. Oh, let's okay. get physical. All right. Ooh, let's get physical. <laughs> One, two, nine, ten. Okay, ten burpees. I'm gonna eat. This is the meanest thing to do to me. Okay. Ten burpees. All right, so. That's only four. Are you done? Okay, here's the thing. Alexa, how much time is left on my timer? Two minutes. You have 12 minutes left, so you gotta do it all again. You gotta keep going until you're out of time. 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4. You got it. Look, ah. look, you got it. Here you go. Here you go. Alexa, stop. That's like done for life. Not tomorrow, right? No, there's a different workout tomorrow. You're kind of sweaty. You gotta love me anyway. Okay, I, I know I have to love you anyway, and I do love you. I love you over there. But love me over do there. I have to love you while you're touching me? I need to take a shower. <laughs> like, for real. It's only one workout. You have six more days of this. For Oh, yeah. It's a seven-day. It's a seven-day thing. But I feel like we should do this the whole month. You know what? The only thing is, reboot implies that I've ever exercised before. And this is a first. <laughs> Okay, well, I need to go eat. I'm going to have another savory chicken soup for Meaty Monday. Uh, I think I'm going to add four tablespoons of butter to it. And I'm going to go pass out with some electrolytes. Okay. Yeah, you're drinking the new Perfect Keto one. We got a lot done today. I chased the dog with the drone. That's not work. It's kind of work. I mean, I was chasing her around. You were learning your craft. I was learning my craft. Okay. I crashed it a couple times, too. Good job. Um, but we got kids ministry filmed. Four weeks. You were, you wrote all four weeks of the curriculum. Yeah. And what else? We filmed the review video for the Perfect Keto Electrolytes. My brain is fried. Yeah. Like I'm done. And now we get to wake up tomorrow morning. 
You get to exercise some more. And do it all over again. And I have work. But we're going to get ready because we're going to go camping again this week. Like two weeks in a row. Three weeks in a row, really. It will help me do the right thing, make the right choices because I have something to look forward to. Yeah. So. Well, that is going to be today's vlog. Let us know how you guys are doing on your reboot, whether you're doing Keto Chow or you're doing Perfect Keto Restart, or you're just doing something on your own. Like, let us know what you're doing. Are it's you exercising? Look better than mine. You looked pretty good, actually, especially for somebody who for hasn't newbie. exercised in a long time. Yeah, wherever. <laughs> let us know down in the comment section what kind of restart you're doing for the new year. Now, if you like seeing videos like this, check out some of the videos that we have linked right down here. Also, make sure you take a look at our most recent video, which you can find right over there. But whether you head this way or you head this way, don't forget to head this way, subscribe to our channel and click the little bell icon. That way, every single time I glisten, not sweat, you'll be alerted to it. Until next time. Bye. bye.